What is up everyone? It has been a while. <clears throat> I'm in a new location. My eyes can barely open. It's so bright out here. My eyes probably look like they're like not even open and I never film like this so this is also very awkward. <laughs> I'm in like my backyard area or whatever. It's nice. It's a nice little pool area. It's like all the condos and stuff are like connected to it so. But there's literally no one here right now because I live somewhere where essentially it's a bunch of like snowbirds like they live here mm, four or five months out of the year because they're all like Canadian or like from Washington and stuff like that so they're never really they're not here right now because it's like considered the hot months I mean it is like 100 degrees outside but it's whatever it's not that bad in the pool I'm thinking about going swimming later not in the fucking doo doo cocker lake but in a pool that is clean <laughs> and will not get me sick from swimming in because the water has finally cooled down. Uh, news flat, there's a little fun fact for you. If you live somewhere where it's like 110 degrees every day uh, and you have a pool, um, the water gets hot <laughs> and it's not cold and it's not fun to swim in but it's finally been cooling off at night so the water's finally cooling down so it's actually like swimmable. I can't open my eyes, it is so bright out here right now, I'm sorry. So I just wanted to make this video, I'm probably not going to edit it that much or whatever. Just like let everyone know like where the fuck I've been I guess. Because it's been a little bit since I've been on on the YouTubes. I've uploaded a video. And um, it's just, it's simply just been because work has increased my hours. Like I'm doing 10 extra hours right now because uh, one of the ladies in the office is out sick. One of my little abuelitas. Um... So, oh, she, she's dope. They're all do actually. They're all fucking dope. I love them all. And um, she's been, she's been not feeling very well. So she took her like sick leave for like the past week. And I think she's gonna be gone until October, because she has a bunch of stuff that she has to do. I think she even has. I don't know. They haven't told me everything, and I don't think she wants her business out there like that that much. So all I know is that she's coming back in October, and so they just need like an extra set of hands there, so they like want me there 10 hours extra a week, which is like fine, but it's also like I take 15 units at school, and that's really tough too, <laughs> to like go to school and work 35 hours a week right now, and I don't understand how people do it, because there are people that do it and have families that they like have to take care of, like they're like single parents, and you know, because I talk to them all the time, when you go to a community college, um, you hear and you interact with people of all different types of walks of life, you know, you have people like me, you have people that are just fresh out of high school, you have people that are, you know, 40 years old, that are like, have adult children, <laughs> or, you know, and you're just like, I don't know how they fucking do it because like I've literally been so overwhelmed and just so distressed about it. And that's just kind of my, um, that's just my, that's how I am. That's my, how my body operates or whatever. So it's not even like that unique. And I'm not on here trying to like get sympathy or whatever. I'm just like explaining how it is. Like I typically when I'm introduced to new stimulus in my life, I, it's, it takes a while for me to like, inter, to cope, I don't know if cope's the right word, but to like adjust, you know, so um, my adjusting takes a little bit longer than I think than some people, than people who don't deal with like a lot of anxiety, and the way that my anxiety manifests is through panic attacks and in insomnia, so like my insomnia has been like so bad, like I, I sleep maybe like four hours a night. And I know it's just like me getting used to like the new environment stuff I am in school and like getting used to the new teacher and getting used to the new peers and my new, you know, pupils or whatever in my classes and stuff like that. I get that. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not, I mean, and this happens at the beginning of every semester for the first two to three weeks. I just can't sleep that much, but I guess like this time it's more of like a double whammy with the, um, with the increased hours. So, you know, just coupling that with, like, everything else, it's just like, uh, you know. And my friends have been trying to get me to, like, come out and do things with them more, and which I love doing because I love my friends, but it's just, you know, sometimes you just feel like there aren't enough hours in the day. Because you have, you know, you have to take home, care of home shit, you have to take care of, you know, yourself. And I put a lot of pressure on myself on school because I am at an age or whatever. I don't know, I'm 29 years old. 
So, I, you know, I just turned 29 like a week ago. So I put a lot of pressure on myself being like, uh, I should have more accomplished and more done and da da da, you know, all those like things that I think most people put on themselves. And that's just like where I'm at now. Like I, and I focus so intently like on school because I want to be successful. I, this is kind of how I was when in high school before I became like a pothead. <laughs> In high school, I was like very driven, very like, I had to make sure I got things done. I was like in AP classes, I was in the IB program. I was like, I graduated with a 3.9. I was very close to like graduating in white. That's what it was called at our school. Like if you, um, if you had above a 4.0, you got to graduate in white. I don't know, I fucking, that's like a regret in my life. It's not doing that. But um, things happen or whatever at the end of high school year and so I, I did, I made some poor choices. <laughs> we can make, I can make a whole video about that, but yeah. So I put a lot of pressure on myself now because I'm like, shit, I'm 29 years old. I should have done more. I'm doing as much as I can now to progress my life as quickly as possible. It's just gonna take time. And so I'm just like a little bit more laser focused on like that. So I just wanted to make this video and just kind of explain like where I've been because I've been getting some people asking me. I think I've done this entire video with one eye open because it's so bright out here. Oh my God. <sighs> I just wanted to do this video real quick to just like kind of explain like where I've been, what I've been up to, why I haven't uploaded or whatever because I've had some messages and stuff being like, where are you? We miss you, blah, blah, blah. And I miss you all too. Like I'm, you know, I'm around. It's just that like I have to take care of like my mental health and like my family first and make sure I get my things done that are like really like really important to me not that YouTube's not important but like it's not on my highest priority list I do this more for fun it's more of like a little bit of a hobby to me so you know that's just like kind of where I am with it this isn't this isn't gonna be my long-term career or anything so um, but yeah, I do, I do miss you guys, I miss my petty pals, and I wanna make more videos, it's just when I make those videos, not that it takes a ton of time, it's just I have to be in a certain frame of mind to do them, you know? So, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Like, look, I haven't gotten my eyebrows done, like my unibrow is starting to come back. That's how little bit of time I've had. Like, I didn't get my car washed, oh, god damn, there's so much, I have so much adult shit to do. Anyways. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to, you know, check in, see where y'all at, see where, so y'all see where I'm at. And I promise I'll make videos here soon when I get a little bit of extra time and when I finally get into a routine and a rhythm and my body finally acclimates to like what I'm doing and I don't have this fight or flight, ex you know, experience all the time whenever I walk into rooms. <laughs> It's so stupid. Anxiety is so fucking dumb. Like, I hate it so much. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I love y'all. Until next time. Toodles.